it, it seems like, you know, <clears throat> our ancestors really had a, their, their unsatiable desire was just to survive. I mean, that's what they had a desire to do every single day, whereas now we're getting, we're in a time where we have this unsatiable drive to feel really good, which foods that are a combination of salt, sugar, and fat, which you don't even find in nature, there's no one food that has all three of those, is uh, having us lean in, especially for the brains um, that are uh, hardwired to want more and more and more of that dopamine and serotonin response to lean into a higher high like opioids and like crack cocaine and like meth. And we had um, Dr. Milton Mills on and he had, had uh, done a, a video for us at Switch for Good where, where he compared meth to dairy, specifically cheese because of its highly addictive nature. And people are like, oh my gosh, that's insane. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. But just as you said, actually, they're qualitatively quite similar <laughs> uh, in, in their makeup and what they actually do in the brain. Uh, and that's, that's scary. <laughs> Well, it's good for us to know about it. Um, and I liked what you said about the fact that, um, well, we seek these because they're they also high, isn't it high caloric? They also happen to be high caloric. So isn't that also why humans seek these foods? Because mm-hmm. not only do they, the reason that they hit our dopamine system is because of their high calorie. I mean, because they're sweet and fat and et cetera, but the biological reason is because they help us survive. Yeah, that's right. So the essentially the things that we are hardwired to respond to with a dopamine response are the things that kept our ancestors alive in ancient and difficult environments. And if you look at the properties of food that do that, most of them relate to calories. So sugar does it, starch does it, fat does it, protein does it, um, glutamate does it, that contains calories. It's uh, an amino acid, which is a building block of protein. The only one that doesn't, that I'm aware of, contain calories is salt. So salt is the one exception. Of course, it's composed of sodium and chloride, which are two essential minerals. However, there's no other essential vitamin or mineral that we can really taste. Like you don't taste riboflavin, you don't taste magnesium in the same way that we taste salt. So Mm. that suggests that there was something special about salt. But everything else that I'm aware of that really creates a pronounced dopamine response in the brain is all something that um, indicates the concentration of calories in the food. But today, because our environment has changed radically, we still have those cravings for the things that were good for our ancestors. But in our modern environment, they're not always so good for us anymore. I think you call that the evolutionary mismatch. Is that yeah, correct? absolutely. Yeah. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If we helped you in any way, then click the subscribe button and let's keep hanging out together. We have so much more to share with you. And if you need more information on actually making the switch for good, please visit us at switchforgood.org for loads of info. And you can subscribe to our mailing list where you will receive all sorts of super cool gifts, discount codes to our very fave dairy-free products, and a lifetime of powerful health tips. So join us on the journey to switch for good. This is the future.